The Bureau of Land Management is increasingly moving toward the use of large fire breaks in strategic areas to help control range fires in Idaho and the Great Basin. Fire breaks are often created next to existing roads to provide an anchor point for slowing down or stopping fires. The idea is to keep range fires smaller to preserve native shrub step habitat. In recent years, the trend has been towards large destructive fires in southern Idaho. In low precipitation areas of the Snake River Plain, range fires are growing in size and in some cases they've burned the same ground repeatedly over time. When that occurs, native shrub step habitat gets destroyed and cheatgrass and invasive weeds take over. That's why the BLM is working on creating more fire breaks and anchor points to stop range fires dead in their tracks. Fires move into these fuel breaks and they not only break apart, but that flame rank gets reduced quite a bit. Looking at the fire triangle, a fire needs all three legs of the triangle to thrive oxygen, heat, and fuel. Fire breaks cut down the amount of fuel available to burn. Fire breaks can be made by mowing vegetation next to dirt roads, planting green strips with hardy perennials, and using targeted grazing. Well, targeted grazing is a fairly new concept. Um, a lot of work has been done on sheep and goats to manage uh, invasive plants, but now we're seeing a lot of increase in the use of cattle because they eat grass and grass is really the thing that is the fuel that we're, we're concerned about in wildfires. As the BLM works on range rehabilitation in the Soda Fire area in the Oahe Mountains, they used targeted grazing to reduce the fuels, highly flammable cheatgrass on about 300 acres near Hemingway Butte. Our goal uh, here was to try to get 200 feet each side of this road uh, fuel break um, to two inches or less double height. To keep the cattle focused on the project area, the BLM and grazing permittee used temporary fencing, protein supplements, salt, and water. It worked extremely well. I was very pleased with the results. Richards used about 130 cows to do the targeted grazing project. The BLM carefully monitored the project to make sure the objectives were being met. Long term, the BLM hopes to set up a major fuel break along a power line road in the Oahe front to help prevent the land from burning up. Cheatgrass, an invasive weed that's highly flammable in the summer, dominates the front range in low elevation sites. Daniel Richards thinks that more targeted grazing with cattle would work well for the power line firebreak corridor. Your goats and sheep, they're extremely good at taking care of weeds. Um, in Hawaii County, there's an awful lot of cheatgrass along the Hawaii front and you'd have to have a massive amount of goats and I still don't think you'd do a very good job. But we do have a lot of cattle in this county and uh, I think it's extremely, an extremely useful tool that we haven't been utilizing. Hopefully we can keep it going. Professor Launchbaugh has been doing research on cattle grazing as a targeted grazing tool in Oahe County for a number of years. My research showed, can we slow the fire reduce the flame length, and even at fairly moderate levels of grazing, we were able to accomplish that. As the BLM continues to create more fire breaks, Launch Boss sees merit in all kinds of treatments. Well, there are several ways to create fire breaks. You can see right behind us here, we have some area that was mowed. Again, the same idea of bringing that herbaceous, those grass fuels down to the ground, so that's one tool. Roads, trails, those are uh, you know brown areas that are effective. What grazing done is just reduce sort of the whole level, so slowing the fuels, slowing the fire as it goes across grazed areas. I think the key is to be strategic and maybe combine all these tools. There's no one right tool, but all of these are good in combination and, and in different places. So I think grazing is important as part of the mix. 